What is happening, guys? All right. We are back. So, I believe we left off in this, like, stadium type of room here. I believe that we maybe have to go through here? Possibly? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's not gonna open, apparently. Okay, so this door is not opening. Oh wait, maybe this one? We're moving into the deepest levels. Ah. Not even I could tell you what we might find from here on. Oh nice. This looks like a boss arena. Captain Bennett! There you are, Marielle. I knew you'd come. Hostile fused scorpion unit has been detected. What? That man has completed integration. Stay on guard. No. Oh, what? But when? When did you integrate with Scorpium? A life changing 15 years back. Uh, that long ago? Yes, though time has flown by. What happened here on Parapium today? will forever change the fate of the Scorpion and the Pan-Galactic Federation. What are you talking about? The only thing that you've accomplished is hurting so many people! Mm, I Nina's doubt burst. anything a little girl from an undeveloped planet would understand. But I'll fill you in. Today, our Sovereign has obtained a tremendous power. One that will alter the course of history for all of Scorpion. I am beyond proud to have been party to its acquisition. You speak of the fate of the Federation. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation alongside the Centralists. Just like you did with Captain Curtis and the Bella Gulf. <laughs> you fail to understand a thing. Curtis is the one who turned his back on the Federation. Now most of the Pangalactic Federation forces serve under our Sovereign. You might even say the Federation is the Centralist Scorpion. We will wield the military might of our Sovereign and the Scorpion to expand our reach from here on. Such is the path to glory for the Federation, for all life in this the This guy galaxy. does not look very tough, so I don't think he's going to be that intimidating. Oh, did he transform? Okay, uh, maybe we take up what I said here. Yeah, he's taking damage really easy though. And trample over other people's lives. Really easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's taking damage super easy. Down, buddy. Not in history. 
Yeah, that, uh, he was very, very simple to take out. <laughs> he was all talk, basically. Im impossible. I'm sorry, my sovereign. And what's up with his hairdo? His hairdo is whack. Is it a high ranking Federation officer? <laughs> Why not integrate with the Scorpion? and find out the network will tell you all you wish to know about our sovereign <laughs> and more no tell me now though i may die my memories myself will live on in our sovereign <laughs> Yeah, his hairdo is definitely whack. Anything? This unit's information was lost. No! Isn't there anything we can do? The central information system of this facility may be able to conduct a search. The probability is high. Though a centralist, he was still Scorpion. Authentication successful. We shall now search for and acquire the necessary data. This will require some time. Is there anything I can do to help? You? As this system is incompatible with Virgoldian Android specifications, we recommend instead that you assist using the touch interface. Understood. So is JJ an Android too? I thought JJ was just like a used acquired. person. We have established that the unit bearing the concept of sovereign is a top-ranking officer at Pan Galactic Possibly Federation not, Fleet Headquarters. The previously unthinkable concept of a Scorpion leader first emerged 15 years ago. This aligns with the time Bennett was integrated. A high-ranking officer? Who the hell could it be? This is Ray. Ant, what's going on? Shit's hit the fan, Ray. You need to get back to the Aldus now. We're going back home. The hell are you saying? We don't have time for that, right? A large fleet of Federation ships are on their way to Vergold as we speak. Huh? Vergoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Emergency evacuation orders have been issued to all ships in the area. This is a full-blown invasion. And Ray. The commander of the invading fleet is Remington Kurtzman, the most bloodthirsty bastard in the Federation. What? How can they? Those sons... They didn't even make a declaration! Antonio, this is Elena. Did you just say Kurtzman? I did. Why? He is the one. Huh? When referenced against this data, it is irrefutable. Captain Bennett left for his post on Veer 15 years ago. His direct superior at that time was Remington Kurtzman, who is now commander of fleet headquarters. Incredible. Wait, there's no freaking way. With this much evidence, I'd say it's certain. I can't believe it. I want to say it isn't true, but... Commander Remington is the Sovereign. Once you're ready to go, get back to the Aldus. We need to leave as soon as possible. So is there anything else in this room? Uh, apparently not. Alright. I guess we just gotta go back out of this place now. I uh, did a little disappointed with that boss fight, to be honest. Uh, that's a... Uh... Oops, shit. I think I took the wrong path there. Um, 
We should get out of here and head back for Parapium's transfer chamber. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, that boss fight was just disappointing a little bit. Maybe, uh, I mean, this far into the game, you'd think some of these boss fights would get more integral rather than just like hack and slash. But at this point, I'm just trying to get through the game, you know, at this point. <laughs> I'm kind of burnt out of this game, and I just kind of want to finish it. <laughs> the story is just kind of lackluster at this point, I think. Oh, man, hold on. They better not think we're somehow connected to the people behind the attack. Do not concern yourself. I have already taken the liberty of sharing what happened inside the plant. JJ. Yes. Understood. We will go there at once. Thank you, everyone. Please excuse us. Were you speaking to them just now? They were in a rush to investigate the plant. So we exchanged information via the network. They requested that I share what I saw. As someone actually present at the scene, Captain Raymond, you and your group are going to Vergald now, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I take it you have affairs of your own, which you must attend to? I sincerely apologize that I am unable to do anything to repay you all for protecting my comrades. It was our pleasure. Think nothing of it. We were able to learn a great many things, thanks to you. Without you, we would have been fighting the Scorpion with little to no understanding of what it even was. And thanks to you, we were able to uncover Captain Bennett's... the Federation's crimes. I am truly grateful. This experience of reaching a mutual understanding with non-integrated beings will prove useful to Scorpion's evolution. I wish luck on the Aldous crew. If you should ever visit Parapium again, the Scorpion Network will welcome you with open arms. Farewell. Hmm. I wish you good health. Okay, so Sayonara to JJ, I guess. Is something wrong? This Remington attacking Vergold. He's linked to the Scorpion, right? It's got me thinking how there's still way too little we know about Scorpion ourselves. Uh, we know quite right. a bit, actually. <laughs> that is true. It would definitely be beneficial if JJ was able to come with us. Perhaps he may even be able to communicate with the hostile Scorpion. Hey, Ant. Uh, just sit tight for a while. I'm gonna try and negotiate for an additional crewmate to come aboard. Hurry it up, guys. We don't have a lot of time here. Additional crewmate? Hmm. Wonder who that would be. Oh wow, that's way the hell over there. Uh, I think it's this way, right? Let's see here, we need to go where the hell is it even? <laughs> Merchant vessel Adidas. Okay, so I think I think it's this way. And it wraps around there, hopefully. Yeah, I think this is right. a high probability of encountering conflict on Virgold. We should make our way back to the Aldus only after all preparations are in order. Uh, I don't know how what else we can do because we've already upgraded everything we can to the top stuff, so... And honestly, we did pretty good on that last boss, so I feel like... I feel like things are pretty good. I feel like things are pretty good.
Raymond's a bridge. We're departing Parapium in just a few. Head back to our original sector through the Scorpium wormhole. Once we're out, take us to Vergold at maximum warp. Captain, Marielle, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. What? How? They survived? Put them through. Captain Curtis. Nice job getting out of there in one piece. It'll take more than that to sink us. Besides, I was the one worried about you, since the Astoria altered course to pursue you. Uh, actually, Captain Bennett and his entire crew was integrated to Scorpium, and they invaded a Scorpium colony. He was firing upon non-combatants, so we had no choice but to engage him, and... I see. But, Captain, can it be true that a fleet under Commander Remington is currently attacking Vergold? It is. They're using the pretense that Vergold has been antagonistic, interfering in Pangalactic Federation interests. What a bunch of... <laughs> the Federation are clearly in the wrong here. But we're stuck playing catch-up, since no one knows why the Commander has gone berserk. Captain, Commander Remington is connected with the Centralist Scorpium, the same force that attacked the Manuk system. What? It is likely that the Commander himself has been integrated, and we have evidence that shows he may even be the Centralist leader. The truth is... This whole crisis started with the Federation, when Bennett and other Earthling officers were integrated. Still, I can't believe this has been going on for 15 years. They don't even hold back against their fellow Scorpion. And what's worse, their abilities are vastly superior to those of us that are flesh and blood. My guess is they're going to use this power to expand the Federation's influence. But why would they attack for gold? Well, that's the thing. It's not as if there's been any fierce outward antagonism with for gold up to now. All this will do is serve to upset the other unallied planets. Hey, Duma. I remember before you were saying you came aboard the Yidis to assess Vergold's suitability for integration. And these centralists, they're also connected to the network, right? Correct. Does this mean they're invading with the intention to integrate the people of Vergold as centralist Scorpion? I think we can assume that. You're going? Hey, my home is in danger. I will do my part and gather allies to put a stop to the Commander's madness. You know, we have no way to tell if any Federation ships that come our way are part of Remington's faction. So for safety's sake, give me a heads up if you decide to bring any friends along. Will do. I'll send you all we know about Remington's movements at present. I'll make my way to Vergold as quickly as possible, too. I wish you and the Aldus a safe journey. Over. Add Curtis's data, and open a wide-range schematic display. So, each of those dots is a gigantic ship akin to the Astoria? Hmm. I now see why Lambert would be so unnerved by the mere sight of the Tyrannus. The enemy's advance forces will reach for gold in 48 hours. It would be reasonable to estimate combat will begin in 72 hours. How about us in the Vela Gulf? Even rushing to Vergold, at warp 11 as we are, we will not arrive for 96 hours. The Vela Gulf is in much the same situation, approximately 98 hours away. Damn. Well, guess that means we can't really depend on them then. Sorry, everybody. Hope you don't mind helping me clean up this mess back home. Huh, that's weird. I wonder where Duma went. Maybe off with Leticia? Better go look. I love it when they don't say where to go. <laughs> uh, maybe common area? Uh, okay, nope. Uh, residential quarters? Aha! The duty of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion. 
and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the Centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation. And they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpion. We believe that Scorpio has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But, would this not be the same even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion's ideology. Pursuit of our goal, so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. All this hand-wringing is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the Centralist Scorpion philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the Centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting to see you less and less as a computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? A little bit more There's than the no computer, that's how for bad sure. The situation on Vergold <laughs> is gonna be. Better head to my bunk and rest up while I can. Yeah, Raymond sounded like a 50 year old man there. <laughs> Relating Duma to a computer. Guess I'll just rest up until we get to Virgo. About time for a rest. More like a super powerful AI. <laughs> we will arrive momentarily. In the Virgold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impacts. You will still be in one piece for me, Virgold. Better get to the bridge. Status report. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Virgold space. The Virgoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Virgoldians have them outnumbered. Maybe there is some hope after all. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no telling how long the Virgoldian fleet's shields will hold up against Federation battleships. Seven minutes. <sighs> Damn. Tactical. Displaying tactical map. Ugh. Now what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two, within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No, never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpion is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Virgul. But we'll never make it, Ray. I don't have any combat pilot experience. I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But Roger, three minutes. Captain, the battleship Sadith has broken away from the Fogoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit. Bring us about! Go help the Satan! Impossible. If both ships come after us, we will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. 
Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attacker, no, they're never gonna get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. You better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now entering conventional space. Gonna be following those ships at a safe distance. Hey, they aren't headed for the home world. This course is set for Vergness. They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergness. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Vergness. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put him through. Dad! What? Oh, shit, that's their dad? Oh, well, glad to see you punks are in one piece. Dad, I'm gonna have to keep this short. The main fleet is a feint. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Vergness. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Vergness <laughs> has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence, this is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. He sounds like a These drunk. ships are renegades, broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny aboard the Aldous? Uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. Death, this is important. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. It, these bastards, they're Scorpion. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. Oh, they broke through the planetary shield? What the hell are these guys? Security, strengthen frontal defenses. Hmm, looks like this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data, I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of there. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldous can take on a fleet of battleships, now do you? Get out of the combat zone and keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. I believe Raoul's judgment here is sound. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldous is destroyed. <laughs> Ray. What? A Federation vessel is hailing us! Have we been spotted? No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick, hailing from the Pangalactic Federation vessel GFSS 1007T, the Kalnas. Admiral Maverick? What do you want, Admiral? Here to ask for our surrender? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Isn't he the one that attacked him to begin with? Our vessel is headed with? <laughs> for Vergald, along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergness, and have started attacking... cities and civilians. A detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, we'll be fine. <sighs> I can't apologize enough for Remington's actions and the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, gotcha, but actions speak louder than apologies. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergald. We are gonna transfer down to Vergness. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. Thought you were gonna try to stop me. I never assume that you, Raoul, or Antonio will ever listen to what I say. Yeah, no <laughs> point in starting now, then. And She's not wrong. we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Vergness. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? Ray. Sorry, but I'm gonna need your help. You need not have asked. 
Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. My agreement to maintain Elena is still in effect. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Let's do this. Okay, all set and ready to go. Time to head for the transfer chamber and get to Verdness. All right, so we get to go to another new planet. I feel like this is going to be like a final boss planet. Because according to the internet, this game is almost over. So I feel like this will be the last planet. Ray, let us go help them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see here. We are at 31 minutes. Uh, we're going to cut this episode, and on the next episode, we'll go through Paul Dormia? Paul Tur uh, Paul Dernia, I guess you could say that's how it is. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. Much more coming soon.